Yo, yo. So, uh, what's up? It's been a while, and let's quickly get into it. If you are still alive, life is good. And the reason why I say that is because of all the things that you could complain about, right? Lack of sleep, lack of emotional love, lack of support, lack of time, lack of friends. You know, all the things that you could say, these are the things that's holding me back. Um, lack of sleep, plan your day better. Lack of support, all you need is you. Don't wait on people in higher places to help you reach to their level because one, most people are selfish and two, if it's meant to be in, you take the time to hone in on your craft or the things that you want to get better at, you will get there. Lack of time is just eliminate distractions. If you plan out and list things in order that needs to get done, like this list, like uh, a friend a while back, she was like, as soon as you get home, take care of the stuff that needs to get done the next day. That's very, very important. So when I get home, instead of just relaxing and doing nothing, either I'll meal prep or I'll start planning my day out the next day. Granted, I'm up at like 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning, but having an idea of what your day is gonna look like is easier for you to say no to the things that's gonna take time away from you getting your list done. Like right now, I'm having, I'm having lower back pains from not sleeping enough and not having a, a really, really good diet. And I know the quickest way to fix that is to get more sleep and then to stretch more. So at the end of either my morning or my night shift, I'll take five, to, I'll take like 10 minutes and stretch to like, do like three to four stretches for a minute that I know is gonna help me in the long run and help me feel better and move better. And I believe that especially if you're eating better too, you do the things that you're supposed to, taking care of your body. The effect is that you start to feel good on the inside and then that permeates to everybody else that you talk to. You have more patience, you're less likely to, to jump at people or interrupt people or cynical comments. So doing the things that you know you should be doing Taking care of the little things, taking care of the details is going to add to the bigger picture and making life easier. So another random vlog because I didn't take notes as I said I was going to in the last one. But anyway, another thing is uh, things, and I, I, I don't like putting this out there because I feel like with life being ups and downs, if I say everything is good, everything is good, it's just setting me up for a big downhill slide but things are very well right now. Don't have really good good grip on time, but most of that time is spent doing work. <laughs> um, I said this to a few friends. I said this to a few friends and it's starting to make sense. Eventually, the money is gonna catch up to the work. If you focus on the results and you want that instant gratification and you want the results right now, it's gonna be hard for you to stay committed to doing little things daily that's gonna get you to the big results eventually. If you focus on just the work and knowing that to get these results, I have to do A, B, and C. Every day, wake up and do A, B, and C. And then when that starts to get easy, add D. And when that starts to get easy, add E, add F, add G, add another thing, add another thing so that your days become less idle and they're filled with more work and more purpose. I try to be a person that's not focused on money, but when I have an opportunity to work more hours, I quickly jump at it. And even knowing like I'm gonna be exhausted and my time, my body's very, very tired, I know that, or for me, I have this idea that if you put a lot on your plate and you become overwhelmed, but you stick to it and you do it daily, eventually it becomes easier. Same thing as like people that struggle with trying to get more food or people that struggle with trying to put on weight and say like, oh, that's my limit, I can't eat anymore. You have a problem. Now let's fix that. Oh, I can have protein shakes to get liquid calories. Like calories is the most important thing if you want to put on weight or if you want to lose weight. You want to put on weight, you want to put on uh, muscle. You need to eat more, you need to have more, you need to drink more, and like more and more calories. So if you know that you can't eat as much food to get these calories, another option for you is drinking the calories and protein shakes, supplementing in your, in your diet. And then we have people that want to lose weight and want to lose fat. If you're struggling to stay under your maintenance level, add more, and I just did a post on this today. 
add more foods in your diet that have high fiber. It's gonna fill you up quicker so you don't eat as much food. And if you're getting the correct macronutrients in your protein, carbs, and your fats, give it time. A lot of people expect quick, quick. A lot of people preach abundance and live in scarcity. I have everything that I need right now. And if there's anything that I do, if there's anything that I want, or if there's anything that I'm lacking in, I'm not gonna operate out of scarcity, out of desperation. I don't know where I was going with that, but anyway, um, we're over seven minutes of recording, and I've probably done two minutes worth of good talks. Um, I'm out and getting ready for a, getting ready for a split shift tonight. Stop feeling bad for living life, for trying to live life under your own terms. It's gonna upset a lot of people. It's not gonna make sense to a lot of people. But if you trust your gut instinct, it's gonna lead you to where you need to be. Keep dreaming, keep believing, keep working, be somebody. Let's get it.